Okay, so I did get uh, this for the job. Brass, brass, pretty heavy. A couple ornaments here. Little coat hooks, but the brass. I'll keep those. I've seen a big fridge up the road, so I'm just kind of uh, making some room here. Got these speakers. I don't know if they're any good. I got the kids' bike from yesterday. It's at my house. Here's the carpet. It's a beater old carpet, but it's gonna be an improvement of what I got. Brass there. There's all my appliances here. They're all lined up ready to go. All this here. And here. I'm gonna strip all these stoves. Boom. And then strip some of this stuff. Oh, this is ready to go this year that's ready uh, this some of the stuff I'll clean get that ready I got a fridge yesterday so I'm gonna actually um so I'll put this over here I'll throw this into the fridge So, we'll pick up the fridge now. Stand by. In the fridge here, some Moffat. Pressure's all bent up in the back, actually. Hmm. It's like I almost fell off a truck or something. seen a wheelbarrow looks like it might have been all steel so I might grab that next okay it's been sitting there for uh, at least one day for sure this thing seen here yesterday chair I'm doing a scrap run well probably tomorrow but Need to get all my material together. Push another chair up the road just to the next house over. So I can throw that in right now. Bring it down a bit or something.
need room for that wheelbarrow so I don't want to clog it up too much here probably here I think Bend that off, be better. How you doing? Found. Pretty heavy. Yeah, that girl came up to me. I was wondering what she wanted, but she had to give me a couple tools here. I'm not sure what she's up to, but she gave me this. That's all rusted, but oh, actually, oh, hey, look at that. Hey, awesome. Works good. Well, spring tooth. She gave me the screwdriver and this. Plus, she gave me all this here. She said, oh, you want those? I said, sure, I'll take them. Gotta love that. Okay. A bunch of stuff here. A couple chairs. Hmm. Oh, well, we know these are heavier. These, I'll take these. This one. machine. It's so like a little modem or something. Got a good board in it. Drill set. Old school. Stainless, some sort of cooker, steel cooker, warmer or something. Heavy, heavy. Looks a little bit better. I take this off it doesn't look as bad I don't know about this crib take some of the foam out of it a lot of wood in there still. Scrap it. Create less garbage. Okay, that's about all I can do. Give them less garbage. 
Other guys won't take those chairs, but they got a lot of weight to them. Pretty heavy steel. Probably from the 60s, I would think. 60s, 70s. Okay. okay I got this modem here. Just found today. 14.4 something X zoom. Let's open it up. Almost like it was somewhat taped up already. But uh, let's see what's in it. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, there's a lot of two removal, three, three chips removable. There's a lot of stuff in this thing actually. Very, very nice board. Very, very nice board. It's definitely old technology right there. Got copper here, along this thing here, where the transistors. Well, it could be called MOSFETs or whatever you want to call them, but they call them transistors. So we're gonna get a little bit of copper here. Copper for copper pile. Right there. Nice. Yeah, nice copper. We got a really nice board. I'm gonna pop that speaker off. Just so we don't need it. Okay. Beautiful board. Well made in Mexico. Two chips are made in Mexico. Okay, here's another, uh, it's an answer machine, it's a, it takes a cassette tape, but, you know, I just want a micro cassette, Let's see what's in it, I mean, it hooks to a phone line, so it's got to be some sort of digital, digital things in there, I would think. Called a uh, Telemax. Huh, looks like a car radio, basically. Well, it's got look. It's got like it's got a jumpered chip on top of it here. It's pretty strange. Hmm. Got old technology in there, but. This is a cassette. A cassette player. Bit of a board. Some IC chips on here, not a lot, but something to deal with later. You saw me just pick it up today, so fresh off the boat. Okay, there's a the cassette there. Okay, let's see. Here's a power supply, which is actually it's a Hitachi. See what's in it's really heavy. Oh yeah, big transformer. Old technology, so probably high voltage. I mean um these batteries could be like high well it doesn't look like a bit that big of a battery, but I guess it's a 12 volt power supply or something. I think at least 12 volts.
that's under here. Brass connection right there. A few more connections here. Since I'm here, I might as well grab it, right? There it is. Brass. Okay. It's a pretty bizarre thing, the heat sink here. I see it once in a while, I think it's a voltage regulator. Heat sink transformer. Might as well lessen the load, right? So let's see what's in here. The winding, so I can see it. Oh yeah, copper, copper. Lots of copper. Nice transformer. See that? Anyways, good transformer, nice. And here's something here. Circuit board, just really nothing. Need to get a pair of pliers on one side. Okay, that's it. This one here, we'll leave for now. It's very, very heavy. It's obsolete, these tools, and worth nothing really. Okay. Okay, this is for a heating plate. It sticks in there, that's the heating part. Let's see what's in it. Never really opened one before. It's got the adjustment there for temperatures. I mean, you see them on the cords, right? Okay, well that's plastic there. This could be aluminum. No, it's just a sticker. Okay, so we got a switch. It's off. So actually, okay, right there, a couple wires. That's brass right there. It's even a light there. With a couple of bare wires and resistor. So this thing here is going to be a mixture of metals. Okay, so. This bracket here is welded. Looks like it's welded on there. Or soldered somehow. So you kind of want to get that out. Let's get my vice. Let's see if I can just put the solder on it.
Doing pretty good. Okay. Let's see what we have here now. Well, it's welded pretty good there, actually. If you have a little, little torch, you can heat it up, which would probably be really easy, but... Okay. Put part of that off. That's exactly what's brass here. If it's all brass or not. Hmm. Somewhat fused on there still. So this kind of goes up the whole center part. I'm sure you can probably get away with this. There it is. We'll see it's 100% clean, but this is still. Hmm. Doesn't clean up that great actually. Here's a couple of uh, contacts right there. The silver contacts. Another one here maybe. Hmm. Not really much in there to be honest. A couple contacts really. A couple pieces of brass. And two contacts really to be honest. The other stuff is really dirty. It's almost like it's stainless steel, not brass. Here, okay. Okay, I got three, three stoves here. This one is um, not sure what make it. This is a GE. Okay, GE, GE. So these are matching. Came from the same building. Here's another GE. So all three GEs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this one's loose already. This one's gas, so I can't really relate to the gas one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three apart, weigh the wire, and I'm going to divide it by three just to see how much wire we get out of this thing. Okay, start to finish. This must be holding it too. No. Okay, very heavy back. Okay, so I'll grab my uh, screwdriver. Very heavy top, huh? So what I'm going to do is throw all the wire. Some wires are stationary. I mean, uh, they don't have any clips. These ones I'm going to be stripping are 12 gauge wires. But I'll throw it in here for now. But I will be stripping those.
Put the bare wire there. This one is also a bare wire. It's a temperature gauge sensor wire. Okay. See a lot of wire, extremely a lot, but there's some wire. Let's see what's involved about taking this this part up. Just try to get all the wire. Okay. Not really much in there, that's why I don't really grab this wire to be honest. Not a lot there. Look at maybe two feet of wire here. And about four inch, eight inches of wire here. Okay, now I'm going to grab this one here. It usually comes off easy. Pain. I just want to take these ones off, so I take, I take all these things. Copper rod. Since I'm here. These brasses off. Okay, grab my pointer tool, my ice pick tool. And this has got good brass too. This one came out easy. Okay, so like that. 
pop those clips off. It's aluminum. And there is some mortar here. Sometimes I can pop this off sometimes. Is okay. Here's the brass. This is your steel garbage. Okay, that's all I do on these things. What's the next one? Two twelve gauges. Okay. These are probably lights or something. There's brass in there and copper. That's why I take them off because it's usually pretty good. When I got forgot about. This is inside here. See, it's got the copper inside still.
See? Copper again. This is where the thermostat is for their temperature control and all that. I think it's temperatures. Just as your oven and so on. Temperature. Okay. Probably even in here, there's probably something in there you can probably take out too. Possibly, but I don't bother. I'm gonna draw a line on how much you can grab, right? Why well, it's not worth it after a while. Okay. Take these they're really tight those screws all the time, I don't know why, but anyways. You can still pull the fuse things out. Still so don't matter. off right now. It's hex or anyways let's see for a second. See there's all the all these connections here. Connections. Let's see, all you have to do is just pull right out. This one here. There, see. You just get a block of plastic. Same thing here. You may think it's not that much, but you start doing so many of these, it all sure adds up fast.
hardwired. Now well, these ones you're usually not that great. Let's see how look at them. See look how burnt that is. See that's why it didn't work. See? It's really burnt in there. That's what happens. The switches the contact so cheap. They burn out. This one's gone, totally burnt. And it, 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 someone said they're like about 100 bucks for a switch. That's what they rip you off. It's got big contacts, but they're burnt. Probably underrated for that size. Underrated for that size of uh, amperage or something, right? I think there's some relays here. Okay. I'm gonna go weigh this wire up after, but I'll, I'll show you maybe later what it weighs. Just because I'm gonna strip the other one right away. Copper mortar here, see that? Get into it. Little prick in my hand. Hmm. 
can of sardines. Stripping it. No copper. I guess the heat heats up and the coil inside tightens or something, does something. But there's nothing in there at all. Find if I strip these right away versus just stockpile these, then it just builds up and I never get rid of them. It just sits and sits. If I strip it like that, then I have everything ready to go. It's not sitting in boxes and taking up lots of room because the majority is steel. So I'm just, you know, like this, it's all steel. This would be, this could be. This kind of appears to be brass too. It doesn't stick, so. Hit okay, points, so you can just start chucking stuff away, you know what I'm saying, versus keeping it. Okay. I'll just maybe open this one for now. To see what's in it. This is a gas stove, but I think, yeah, it's a gas stove, this one, yeah. Even though being gas, there is still a little bit of... It's like stainless steel, just the sound and all that. It might be stainless steel, possibly. Yeah, stainless. So you have to carry a magnet around. Double check. I can maybe get the handle off, but the face usually breaks with the glass. It's usually glued in there really good. My experience. And then see, the, then they look at the glass and they say, "Ah, it's dirty." And then it's like waste your time. So here's your guts here. Clips hold pretty good. So basically, we got some IC chips here. Pretty big transformer, which you can knock off right away. It's actually uh, zap strapped on because it's heavy, right? Okay. I'm not going to put this wire in because it's totally different, but I'll just clean it. I'm gonna average out what what you normally get. It's aluminum. And there's brass fittings and stuff, but don't have all day. There's brass right there too. Okay, well,
with this cutter. Always better this cutter. Cut this off. Lose. Uh, actually, I think aluminum is thing. Polished aluminum feels don't feel like stainless really. A little too bendy. That's a little skid plate, that's what it is. Like this. Aluminum. Looks like stainless steel, but it's it's brushed aluminum type thing, brushed finish. Okay. A little bit of value there. I want to see about these elements. Can, elements are sometimes cast aluminum. The burner parts. Well, it's got screws in here, these ones. Hmm. Takes a really small nut. See if I can open it somehow. Oh, it's actually a mortar right here too. Right on here. Gonna have copper in it. Like a microwave type mortar. Mm, it's got pretty good weight to it. Put lots of copper. There it is, guys, right there. Probably stuck to tape, but let's do copper right there. Okay, so we'll check these out now. It's a tiny, tiny one, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because that's pretty tight in there. Ah, 
it doesn't do it. But I need something like that. See, most of them are too wide. You know what I'm saying? Where the shaft part fits in. See, it could be the right one, but it doesn't go through. So, it's a problem. It's a little bit bigger there. Can't do it. I can see if I can find a socket, but these will be brass, not brass, but aluminum. Okay, let me get a socket set. So I got uh, everything except that last burner. That last burner I can't get out. It's just, a, just barely, barely fits on there. I don't know what's going on, but maybe the heat screwed up the bolts. But they're clean cast. It's clean, see that? So there's a lot of value also. I don't know what to do. This is thinnest. What I'm gonna do is um, see if I can pop these insert off. This little piece of steel here. Just have to get in there and wiggle it a little bit. It usually comes out really easy. after so I'm gonna grab off this bottom piece here the door the glass actually came out real easy I don't understand usually I'm gonna try I can't get the glass out usually glass is a nightmare this That's probably that's probably like stainless steel, I think. So that's okay. I'm sure it's stainless steel. Okay. A little bit out of value. It's also uh You can pop the top off and there's valves and stuff on top here. I have a drill here. screw there but there's another one on top here somewhere so how do I get it hmm yeah sometimes things aren't worth it right What else is holding the cylinder? <coughs> hmm. Oh, I think I see a screw here. It's really greasy, but do you see a screw? Right in the grease. There it is. That's the one I was actually looking for. Maybe let's stand her up. Okay, it's 
until the gas lines are holding it now. Some brass switches here too. So greasy. Greasy, greasy. Got a weird box here. More wires here. I don't know why one is only brass here. One control, everything just looks like steel. Okay. You got lots of time, I mean, there's, there's enough little salvage in there, you know. Brass little valves and different things. It's not really that bad. Okay, here, I'm gonna knock these off here. At least knock off that brass valve, I think. So many different screws in these things. Bolts. It's just barely, barely fit. Okay, this one I see is brass, that's why I'm taking this one off. The brass. The other ones look like steel. You know, brass colored, anyways. I mean, it could be brass, but I doubt it. Hmm. Don't register, so some kind of non fair stuff. Okay, that's what I got from the stove. This is the gas stove. Looks like aluminum. These are stainless, I believe, or something like that. Uh, some burners. I couldn't get one off. Cast, clean. Uh, this is brass here. This is aluminum. That came from the mortar. Quite a bit of copper, aluminum, and a little bit of wire. That's the extra value I'm getting out of this thing. Not a lot, but I mean, there's probably more stuff in there hidden, but that's okay. Good enough. Um, strip these here. It worked out to be a pound and about two ounces per stove per wire. And then it gave me three mortar uh, or copper well, um, transformer windings, two mortars, and then one transformer. And then uh, this little bit of aluminum, aluminum plates, and then all this here. And like I say, this is copper coated. Um, Tin, tin coat of copper or something like that, but it's definitely copper. So all this, and then the wire. 
I mean, it's just added money, it's not a lot, but you know, right now, price is lousy, so you're not gonna run around burn gas, and I already burnt a little bit of gas today. Didn't find very much, a fridge. You've seen what found on the video, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta clean your yard and clean your process or whatever. Look at that, see how it's all adding up there? That's aluminum here. Right? Two transformer type things. One little bucket there. So, anyways, like I say, um, I'm gonna start loading. And I'm gonna strip these other things here. Okay. Oh, that'll be in the next portion of the video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thanks. Have a great day.